<laughs> Me gusta. Hello and welcome to the last episode of my mini series How to Live Stream to YouTube. In this episode, I'll be showing you how to go live on YouTube, as well as other th uh, technical details that you should keep in mind when you're live. So first obviously you need to choose which encoder you're going to be using and you need to have that selected under the ingestion setting so if you select Ycast for YouTube you have that checked if you want to use XSplit you select other encoders. Now first we need to start sending the stream to YouTube. If you have Ycast for YouTube selected you click that and then you go over to Ycast for YouTube with all your broadcast settings set up and you hit broadcast at the top and that won't make your event live but that will start sending your stream to YouTube ready to process as a live event. Now to start sending the stream to YouTube through XSplit you need to have under select your encoder, other encoder selected and have that saved and you want to go over to XSplit and you want to go to the broadcast tab and select the custom RTMP you saved. Now remember I call it LOL so I click LOL and that will start sending the stream where it says frames uh, encoded and it should start going up that means you are sending the stream to YouTube. And for this video I'll be using XSplit as my test encoder when I'm talking through different things. So I'm not going to have this open all the time, but keep in mind that XSplit is going to be constantly sending a stream to YouTube. So if you come over to the live control room now, it's going to at the top say in video programs not sent because it's not public event. If it was public, it wouldn't say that, but because it's a private event, it'll say that. But the thing we look at is we say stream status, and it says good. That means that we're getting a st it's successfully acquiring the stream from us, and it's getting a good back bit rate. So now that we've got all that, you want to click preview at the top and this may take a few seconds to up to 30 seconds what it does is it processes our stream and allows us to view our stream in this preview player at the bottom so we know our uh, live stream successfully starting previewing when preview streams highlighted and the start stream button is available to click we won't click that yet but that will be available to click and we can go to the preview player and click play and now if we click play and it, so it worked for me but if it doesn't work just refresh your page and it should work so preview player you can see it's live it's got 14-15 seconds going and it's just got this showing from my XSplit player however if you come to the public view obviously nothing will load you'll say please stand by starting soon because obviously there's no stream being sent because we haven't actually officially started the stream when you are ready to go live you want to click start stream but before you do that you want to make sure sync to preview player is selected uh, once you have that selected, click start streaming, OK, and that will start broadcasting your live event to YouTube so for the public to see. And you know it starts going live, it says live, and the timer starts counting up. So when you start going live, you'll see that the public view is, might have a higher time than the live view. That's obviously because we started the preview player, we started that going before we started the live view going. So that's why that's happened. Now you may not see it easily here, but you will see it when you start playing a game or something. But basically, the delay between your play, your encoder, your XSplit, the preview player, and the public view is quite large. So you need to keep that in mind for a couple of reasons. But first, I'm going to talk you through the delays. So I will have a file in the description to download, which has all these delays on. And basically, with no delay set in the info and settings tab. The delay between XSplit and your preview player is going to be 30 seconds. So whatever you send to YouTube, from what you see in XSplit and you send that to YouTube, it won't be visible on your public view until 30 seconds later. The delay between the preview player and the public view will be 15 seconds. And therefore, the delay in total between your XSplit and your public view, so the difference between what you're actually doing right at this time and time it takes to get that two people to see is 45 seconds with no delay set in the info and settings now this is based upon a 3 megabyte upload speed at 720p at 30 frames per second so it may vary for different speeds and upload speeds now if you had a delay a 30 or 60 second delay you just add that 30 or, second, uh, 30 or 60 second delay to your delay between your preview and public and your XSplit in public so with a 30 second delay the delay between XSplit and your preview player will still be 30 seconds however the delay between your preview and your public player will be 45 seconds instead of 15 seconds which is 30 seconds more because you set a 30 second delay and therefore the total uh, delay between XSplit and the public view will be 75 seconds and then for the 60 second delay I won't go through all of them it will have it on your screen right now but 
pretty much the difference, the delay between your X-Split and your public view will be 105 seconds or 1 minute and 45 seconds. So why you need to keep these um, times in, these delays even, in mind? Well, the main th reason is, let's go with a no delay with a 45 second delay between your X-Split and public. When you finish your live, when you start live event, we'll make it more really mad at, but when you finish your live event, then basically, um, when you finish any say goodbye bye bye you don't actually want to physically press the stop streaming button here until 45 seconds later after you said that because if you click stop streaming it will cut off that last 45 seconds of your stream you said but it didn't have time to get sent to youtube so keep that in mind so yeah that's how you live stream to youtube i hope this series was helpful if you've got any more questions which probably you do then please do write those in the comment section or uh, message me on youtube and i'll try and get back to you as soon as possible if you did like the series and want more mini series like it, then please do tell me which ones you want. Please do like the videos in the series as that shows the support I have for these videos. And please do subscribe to my channel because you'll get updates on all my videos, which I have a variety of from gameplays, tutorials, live streams, etc. etc. So yeah. Thanks for watching. Hopefully see you guys next video. Bye!